Hello YouTube family, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita. Welcome, and if you are a returning viewer, thank you all so much for the love and the continued support of my channel. Today's video, you guys, we're gonna get into fragrances that I feel like will transition you into spring. Right now, um, well in the US, I should say, the weather is just all over the place. My friend who lives in Southern California has not seen snow. Uh, you know where she lives since the 80s. All right. Me personally, I'm in Georgia and it was 30 degrees last week and today I think it's going to be close to 80. Okay. So weather is all over the place. So let's get into some fragrances that, um, you know, give you maybe some fruitiness, some florals, but it all still has a warmth to it. So it doesn't matter what the weather is doing. We are going to be prepared and smelling amazing. So without further ado, you guys, let's jump right into today's video of spring transition fragrances. <laughs> So the first fragrance on this list is going to be a white floral fragrance. So this is without a doubt for my white floral girls. But when I tell you this fragrance is so classy yet sexy, I mean, it is chic. It is, it is stunning. All right. And I'm talking about this beauty right here from the house of Le Orchestra Parfum. And this is Bouquet Encore. This had been on my radar for so long. Um, a couple of my subscribers, actually some of my followers on Instagram as well, told me that I really should get my nose on this fragrance. And wow, love at first sniff for me, okay? So this is a tuberose jasmine fragrance. However, it is the Sichuan pepper at the top for me. Now, me, my nose in particular is very sensitive to spicy fragrances. So I get Szechuan pepper throughout. It is the most amazing part of the scent. It is sweetened up just slightly with a touch of vanilla. And to me, the musk in here is done beautifully, but I think it comes across just slightly animalic. Um, nothing to, you know, to be fearful of. Still overall a very clean white scent, but the florals are just stunning. Again, warmed up from that pepper. And this is so freaking beautiful oh my god it's beautiful if you love white florals please get your nose on this if rouge melakite was not your thing it was just doing way too much very simple in no structure very very stunning i prefer this scent way <laughs> way more um than rouge melakite but this is just like i said a beautiful white floral i feel like um the performance on this is going to be moderate you're going to get a beautiful sillage again very sexy um, and I will say you're going to get about at least, you know, six to eight hours out of this beautiful fragrance that will definitely transition you into spring effortlessly. All right, guys. So next one up on this list, when I first got this fragrance, you guys, it was so mad to me. Okay. And when I tell you I'm eating my words, I'm eating the crow. Pink Me Up by Atelier. This ours is just beautiful. This is a blackberry rose fragrance, okay? It has champagne, so it's very sparkling. It's fizzy, it's uplifting. Just a very happy, sweet, fruity scent um, that I feel like has grown so much on me. I love layering it with all my other rose fragrances um, because rose and champagne. I mean, just absolutely beautiful. Well, in this fragrance, you do have um, some bergamot at the top and it's paired with an orange blossom. But in the mid, that is where you get to the magic. It is blackberry, like I said, champagne rose. And you do get some powderiness in the base because it is balanced off with a little bit of iris, a little bit of patchouli, which you can't pick up on slightly. I would say this will put you in the mindset of something like a trap rep. So if you like a scent like that, I think you would love this. Um, again, that one to me is like this very happy effervescent uh, fizzy rose fragrance. But this one, it's a little bit more sweet. The blackberry is quite syrupy and it is beautiful for this time of year. Now, some people may want to put this in the category of a spring scent. But for me, I wore this throughout the winter. I mean, clearly as you can see where the dent is and we haven't even got to spring again it sweetens up so much on my skin it's it's just it's a stunner it's very easy to wear so if you're newer to niche fragrances 
This one is definitely one you should get your nose on. Um, I feel like the performance on this is quite nice. I mean, I still smell it on my clothes at the end of a long day on my skin. I would say you're going to get six to eight hours. Um, moderate wearing, but beautiful, beautiful, fruity floral fragrance. Again, that is Pink Me Up by Atelier Des Ors. All right, you guys. So next up on the list is going to be from the House of Oud. And yes, this is Ruby red do not sleep on this fragrance you guys i'm telling you i wore this yesterday it's my sense of the day and i was at the end of my work day okay so this is i will say nine hours after i put it on um because this is like an off-duty job not my normal 12-hour shift very end of the day another officer is coming in to relieve me and as i'm leaving she was like what are you wearing today that smells really nice and I was kind of, I was like, dang, like you can still smell me. Um, yeah, I had to tell her Ruby Red, beautiful fragrance. You're going to smell like these beautiful, creamy florals with candy ginger. That is the vibe that you get from this. So it is warm and spicy, but there is just something very feminine, creamy, and um, a little uplifted about it. It's not a warm, spicy that is dark or heavy or anything like that. This one actually is going to be a fragrance you can wear all year. It wears beautifully in the winter. And this one is also going to be a stunner for spring for me anyway, um, because it's sweet. Like I said, creamy because it's got some ylang ylang in there. And the ginger is in the top, the mid and the bottom. So you have a fresh ginger up top, I think. In the mid, you have a gorgeous ginger flower. And in the base, you have a candied ginger, which is, is magic, okay? Um, the beauty is all throughout this fragrance, but they dry down the way it's sweet. And, you know, like I said, candied is everything. So get your nose on this. I think they actually have decants of this um, at Scents Gift right now. So definitely test it, but don't fear that this is going to be a very loud, obnoxious, punchy ginger. It's not like that at all. Again, round it off beautifully. One thing about the House of Oud, honey, they know how to blend a fragrance. I would classify this one, in my opinion, as like a floral gourmand because of, you know, the base notes. But this one is just beautiful and overspray. Get your compliments and it's going to last you all day long. All right, guys. So next up on the list is going to be Deja Vu White Flower 57 by the House of Kaoli. Now, this fragrance is so sweet, okay? It actually got me on board with white florals um, in the beginning of my perfume journey because it didn't come across as anything sharp or mature or anything like that. So this fragrance is all the white florals you can think of, okay? It's got gardenia, it's got tuberose, it's got jasmine, it's got orange blossom. It opens with pear and nectarine, and I feel like you're going to get this fruitiness throughout the life of the scent. The nectarine is just so juicy and so sweet and so beautiful in this fragrance. Rounded off by a beautiful base of Tahitian vanilla. You got some uh, patchouli, little cashmere wood, and you have sandalwood. So to me, this is a very sweet, wonderful, creamy white floral experience that it performs beautifully, okay? This is not one where you're going to have to worry about reapplying every, you know, three hours, you know, with the house. Some of these are not the best performing, but I find that when I overspray a uh, Deja Vu White Flower, it lasts a good, you know, six hours on my skin and longer on my clothes. So if you're looking to get into white florals and you're just not sure, you know, where to start or something that is going to still be youthful, you know, sweet, a little addictive, this one is one you need to get on your radar. Again, that is Kaylee's Deja Vu White Flower 57. All right, next up on the list is going to be one that took me dang near two years to get on board, okay? But when I finally got it and it clicked, it absolutely clicked. I am talking about Ani by the house of Nishane. This is a green vanilla um, and it's woody and it's not gonna be for everyone. So definitely test this baby out before you, you know, pull the trigger, decide to buy. But this is such a unique, stunning, must have vanilla fragrance. 
you know, if you can vibe with it. This is beautiful. So Ani opens up with the most addictive combination of like a bergamot and ginger and pink pepper. It's very spicy in the opening, but it's green. It is green throughout. Then you get to the mid where you have this delicious, sweet black currant and cardamom. It has rose, okay? It doesn't come across as like a rosy fragrance. I think the rose is just there to kind of balance things out, to lend it. Oh God, this is so addictive. <laughs> Um, to lend it just, you know, a little something to balance it out because you do have a lot of spices. You have a lot going on in this fragrance, but the rose is there doing this thing as it is in so many fragrances. So if you're not a fan of rose, nothing you have to really fear for this particular fragrance. So when you get to the base, you have vanilla. Okay. Lots of it. Okay. Lots of benzoin. You have woods of cedar, sandalwood, and you have a very addictive ambergris. And I think Honey, between all these delicious spices, um, that vanilla and the ambergris, it is a recipe for intoxication. This, to me, when I smell this, it is just one of those that you you kind of close your eyes and you, you or your eyes roll to the back of your head, one or the other. Okay, I cannot just smell this and feel whole hum about it. This is this is everything but a meh fragrance. Again, <laughs> not for everyone. But get your nose on it. If you've never smelled it, try this on skin and you need a sizable decant, okay? I had a little dabber in the beginning of my journey and that is what I judged it on. I literally took the dabber, dabbed it on my finger, okay? <laughs> and did this and was like, I don't get it. This is not for me. I don't get the hype. Stop doing that. <laughs> when you're testing a fragrance, you need to have a decent sized decant so that you can actually spray it, not dab it, and you need to give it a thorough spray. And the very next time I came into contact with this fragrance is when I was able to get a full bottle of it in my hand on display. I took it, I did, a, this has a very powerful atomizer, okay? So I did like three good sprays, cover my entire forearm, and ah, it was absolute love at that point. And it probably would have been a little bit first sniff, honestly, if I had tested it properly. So yeah, um, it's a must, okay? Perfect for this time of year. Uh, perfect, really, I would say fall, spring, winter. To me, Ani is just a little bit too much for the summer. Um, but most of the year, you can definitely wear this, okay? And this is, it's no better time to bring this one out now because it is, you know, this very bright uh, bergamot, spicy ginger cardamom type of thing going at the top with the fruits and just the beautiful, beautiful base of deliciousness, okay? Vanilla fragrance, but unlike any vanilla that you've ever smelled. Again, that is Ani by Nishane. Okay, so we're gonna keep in the realm of unique smelling fragrances, okay? This is from the house of Soradora and this is Brosia Lande. I hope I say that correct, okay? Honey, if you're looking for a citrus that is a powerhouse, caramel, all right? Unisex, but make no mistake, this is not your everyday citrus scent. This citrus is going to smack you up the nose and in your face, okay? You may need to file a report for assault. That is how hard the citrus is coming for you. Beautiful fragrance though. Once this starts to, to settle in, um, I think you have like this juicy Amalfi lemon. You've got a lot of citruses in here, I think in the top and the mid, but it is spicy, it is warm, and it is very heavy on the caramel. So you have other notes in here like vanilla, you've got lime, you have cinnamon, um, a little bit of like an ambery touch from a Styrax, but this fragrance has animalic notes. So when I say this is not a safe blind buy, you have um, notes of a civet and a castorium. So this may be just, just too much, okay? But on me <laughs> and on this piece of paper, this is very, it's essential. If you think like Lyra, absolute aphrodisiac, had a baby and you just added like a touch of rum I feel like that is what you get with the lime. 
the thing about this is it's, it's lime, it's lemon, seriously. Like it is very prominent, but if you want a unique citrus that is going to fill the room, <laughs> that is going to last 10 hours plus on the skin, this is the one you need to get on your radar. Beautiful, unique, unisex citrus caramel. That's all I have to say about this one. Get this one on your radar because it is perfect for this time of year. All right, so next up is going to be from the house of Carolina Herrera, and this is a very good girl. Listen, oh, Quentin Beach is just the man. He's very busy, by the way, with lots and lots of releases um, this year. I have not smelled the very good girl blush, or is it good girl blush? Um, correct me on the name, but I want to smell that. I don't know if that's gonna be my vibe, but if you have smelled it, if you tried it, Leave me a comment below and let me know if I should get my nose on that one or not. This one right here though, honey, okay? This is almost like very close in scent profile to Delina, but this is like Delina's little sister. So you have swapped out the fruits in there with like a very bright, juicy, rich, like syrupy sweet reoccurrence in this one. And I feel like he just knows how to work with the rose and the lychee and the penny like uh that combination is just to die for in my opinion over feminine uh, the, again this one beautiful sweet playful it's not going to give you the performance of delina but this baby still performs okay you spray this on and it's 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 projecting okay you will garner compliments and I feel like this is a phenomenal designer fragrance. This is rounded off by a bit of vanilla and vetiver. And I feel like this is just beautiful, okay? It is beautiful and don't sleep on it. If you've never tried this one, if you're a niche girl and you're trying to figure out what designers, <laughs> you know, I need to get my nose on because it's kind of where I am. I'm like, I really want to add more designers into my collection this year but they gotta be good. I'm not adding designers just to say I'm not any snob and that I'm adding designers. No, they have got to be phenomenal. And I feel like this one is top tier. Again, this is a very good girl by Carolina Herrera. All right, so next up is going to be from the house of Zerjov. This is Dolce Amalfi. I just love this fragrance. Something about the 30 mils, you guys, they seem to last forever because I'm always looking at how small the bottle is and I'm afraid to wear it. <laughs> like if I had a 50 mil, I'd probably be through 30 mils by now, but this scent is gorgeous. And I find that this is, this is a quince that has spices in it that actually works for me. Unlike, Passe Soir, okay? Now this one is very spicy and it's rounded off very well. So you have a quince and if you don't know, quince is it's kind of like in the pear family. It doesn't smell like pear, but it definitely gives you a pear vibe, okay? So you have the quince, it's paired with the green apple. Beautiful fruity notes when they are combined. You have saffron, cardamom, cloves, a little tolu balsam, so it's balsamic a little incense, and it's rounded off with some cedar, some musk, some vanilla, and tonka bean. So if you're looking for something that is fruity, but warm and spicy, and that is simply amazing, Dolce Amalfi, okay? The name, it kind of like um, throws you off like it's gonna be some type of a summer scent, but this one is a fruity, warm, spicy fragrance that I feel like carries you throughout the year. You can wear this at any time and I feel like you're gonna be okay. It's sweet, okay, but it's not anything that's overly sweet. This one is definitely one that's gonna work great in the heat, works great in the cold, and I feel like it's very versatile. So if Pate Soir was a Pate No, <laughs> get your nose on this one because there's no black pepper, okay, which we appreciate. Um, and like I said, the spices just pair beautifully with uh, the fruits in this fragrance, in my opinion. So again, that is from the house of Zerjov, and this is Dolce Amalfi. All right, so if you want a powerhouse fragrance that also has quince in it, 
This is the one you need, and this is Nomad by the House of Bonds number nine. So this fragrance is fruity and it is oody, okay? This, you can smell the oud. This is not a oud in the very, very backdrop. This is an oody fragrance, okay? So do not blind by this. If you are not okay with ouds, you need to probably test it. But it's a beast. Anything with the oud on it, I mean, come on, it's gonna last, it's gonna project, it's gonna be pretty much a beast mode since. Like all of my ouds, there will be no performance issues, okay? That that I can say about that particular note. So you have rose, orris, violet leaves, so it is powdery, very fruity, okay? You've got quince, pear, and black currant in the opening. And then you have a base, perfect base. <laughs> of vanilla, amber, and sandalwood. So this is just one that I highly recommend you get your nose on if you wanna smell unique, if you want to smell fruity, delicious, oody, which is going to make you, you know, smell like money and have class and sophistication. No mad about bottle number nine, okay? Beast mold, fruity scent that is going to stun for spring. All right, you guys, so that is our video for today. Make sure that you leave me a comment below. Let me know fragrances that are you are wearing to transition into spring. You guys, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure the notification bell is turned on to all. And last but not least, give the video a big thumbs up as it helps the channel to grow. It is been real. I love you all, YouTube, and I will catch you guys on the next one.